welcome to the how-to instructional guide on the kettlebell jerk. So what I'm going to do in this video is break down the jerk bit by bit by bit so you have a greater understanding so you can take this into your own training and start practicing the movement and your own time. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off in our start position. Okay, the kettlebell is going to be in front of us from here. We go into what we call rack position. So the key with rack position is elbows are sat on my hip bone. Okay, I've got my hand over the top of one kettlebell and I'm locking in. What I want to try and avoid is having the kettlebells up here, up here, or having an excessive back bend. Okay, we want to try and end up with straight legs, elbows are just sat, placing the weight. Okay, so once again, rack position. Hands over the top, locked in, elbows, sat on my hip bone. Then the next part of the jerk is first dip. Now first dip, it's not like a squat. Basically, all you're gonna do is just drive the knees forward, okay? So imagine annoying older brother comes behind you when your legs are straight, gives the back of your knees a quick tap, and you're just gonna drop, okay? So from the side, I'm in my rack position, I just drop my knees forward. I'm keeping my elbows in contact with the hips at all times. So when I, what I don't want to do is when I go into the first dip, I don't want to be lifting up, okay? So one continuous movement, staying in contact all the time. So first dip, drop the knees forward, okay? Nice, straight line, okay? So we've got the rack position, we've got first dip. The next position, we've got our bump or triple extension phase. So from there, So this is a short, sharp punch to send the kettlebells overhead. So from the side, what I'm doing, dropping my knees forward, I'm extending through my legs. That power from my legs is gonna send the kettlebells up. Difficult to do in slow motion. Okay, so once again, from here. Coming right on the toes. Sending the kettlebells up. My arms aren't taking over just yet, so I don't want to be pushing up with the arms. It's coming all from the legs. Okay, so the next bit is second dip. So, second dip, I'm dropping under the kettlebells. Okay, so from that position, I've gone into my first dip, I've gone into my bump, and I'm going to drop underneath the kettlebells into that position. Okay? Then, finally, last bit is the fixation and straightening the legs out second dip. So up, stand up. So from the side, And that is where we end up above the head. Final bit, we've just got to lower it down safely, effectively, and efficiently. Okay, so we've gone overhead, and now what we need to do, we're not gonna bring them down nice and slow and controlled. We're gonna relax our arms and catch, absorb with the legs, then stand up. So, I'm gonna drop. Catch with the legs, then stand up. Okay, and that is kettlebell jerk. Main things that we want to be looking for, rack position, we want to try and be nice and tall, extended, so the legs want to be straight. Our grip position when we're in rack wants to be across the heel of the hand. We don't want to be holding it like a dumbbell. 
We've got our first dip, our elbows want to stay in contact, so we drop the knees forward. We've got our bump, which is going to send the kettlebells upwards. So we're going to there, drive up, get up nice and tall, triple extension, so we're still up tall, we're on the tiptoes. That's going to send the kettlebells up. Then second dip, dropping underneath, preferably lower or at least level with your first dip. Okay, so you can drop, catch, my arms are locked out, stand up, then drop, absorb with the body. Okay, and that's kettlebell jerk. So spend your time, practice, get used to it, get used to the movement itself. Go back to each phase of the lift, find out which one's gonna be the most difficult one for yourself, and just trying to drill those, practice those, and let's get you up to those five minutes as soon as possible. Any questions on those, if you want any feedback on your own technique, just send them over to the Kettlebell community group that's on Facebook. The link is within this ebook. So head over to there, post your sets in. Either myself or one of the other coaches or athletes will give you plenty of feedback. We're all happy to help. Until next time, guys, take it easy.